have a solid record on it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm just hoping for a great series, a long series. It's got to happen, right? Hey, give me a game five in this one, man. I know fans have been waiting for this. We're excited. It's only number two as far as the match goes of the day, but this is the big one. And here we go. London Docks Hardpoint kicking it off. E United Splice. Yeah, we're on board with Pristina. You can see three players of Splice are going towards that low water. First, Blood for Clay. Jerry's going to trade that one up. Advance is there on the flank. So now the assault is going to happen on the hill. They're starting to flood in. Last man there really in a position is Clayster. Clayster is able to actually pick up two and win a gunfight with a pistol. Some damage into Bance and Silly may be able to trade this, but Mad Cat helps him out. Now Splice looking to soak up a little bit of time here. Bottom spawns right now for E United. Top controlled by Splice. But we'll see our real separation probably come in this next start point. Yeah, this is great time for E United. And while well, Bance, he got to that fire. He got to that building where you want to be in Clay. He's 6-1 right now, man, and he is absolutely beaming. This is huge time for United. You can see what Silly's trying to do. They're trying to get top control of this street. Nice shot down to one, but he's not going to expect this second. That's Mad Cat. And while Splice is going to head over towards Main Street. And these guys were chirping at each other a little bit in scrims warming up earlier today. I believe it was, uh, it was a DM, I think, from Mad Cat to Momo talking about going to the gym tonight. And he said, hey, after we beat United, I'm ready for the gym. And Clay saw it. He got tweeted. And Clay's like, all right, all right. I like the confidence, but you didn't win in this match. Oh, this is going to be great. But now you'll see bottom spot for Splice. They're set up in the hard point. The flood for United going to start to come in, but I think it was Verstini wrapping all the way back. Didn't want to hit through that mid cut, so it's a very staggered push. You only have kind of two people hitting there. Yeah, but the reason for that is he doesn't want to give his team low water spawn. So with that, he gives his teams pretty, I mean, it's back cool. It's still pretty far away, but it could have been a lot worse where they have to go True. through that gate. So Mad Cat, he's able to push up in the lights. He has help from Jordan Gate while Bant is winning gunfights. A great start for E United has responded from Splice. A solid performance really from all four players. Well, can we up to number four? It's going to be Jerd because he's tucked in a corner here. I want to see if he lets a couple players run by and get the kill. He is able to pick up one. He's got to deal with Silly as well. Silly wrapping around the train. Jerd trying to snap, but the cover for Silly going to be too much to deal with. Yeah, but you can see United, they go for that scrap time. So this gives, you know, Splice at least the ability to get into that hill and then contest. There's a big one on one going, but Mad Cat, he loses it to Pristini. And well, United get control of lower docks. Clayster, 11, make Two. it 12 and 3 on a 5 streak. This guy, he's been called Mr. Map 5. Whenever the pressure is on, whether it's a loser's bracket run, down 0-2 in a series, you know without a shadow of a doubt, this guy is going to step up. He lives for these moments, and he's doing it right now. We'll see if he can keep this streak going. Yeah, but I mean, he needs some help from his teammates. I mean, all, all of his teammates go down right there. He's on a seven spree. His counterpart in Tommy, four and eight. He's shutting him down. Winning those one-on-ones allows him to get in those positions where he can have full streaks. But look, the score. Splice is going to take the lead. Again, they broke that lower dodge when United got a setup, but they are setting up for barrel. We'll see if Splice will be able to break through in transition. Under 10 to go here. Clayster finds a kill. This will give them five or so seconds. He's already got his streak, so the objective time not going to matter much, but they're still holding that top underground spawn. And They've I, got a player inside a barrel, and here comes the streak, Joe. Yeah, I was just going to say, I wonder if he's going to commit to some more, but he's going to get caught by Mad Cat. He's not going to be found by anybody else. He's not able to get any more by that fighter pilot. That allows Jerd to push down low, but there's streaks for Silly. He's on a five spree. This guy can be the X factor for United. We give a lot of talk to the twins and the clay. Silly's a guy who goes under the radar. Well, I, yeah, when he performs, yeah, seems like they win. And now oh, guns another three there for Silly, and that's going to be full streaks, a seven streak, 14 and seven, double positive, and the hundred point mark now cracked for E United as they are controlling things early, and they've got a whole hell of a lot of utility to work with. Yeah, but that's great time right there for Splice. Vance is already towards fire. He wins that one. He has some help from Tommy. Every single time, it seems like United's going to need a little bit of separation. Splice break on through. And they're starting to win that crane true, rotation. True. But you have a lot of streaks for United. Now, this is typically where we see a couple invested. Well, I want to try and focus on the Splice side a little bit. I know we've been focusing on E-United quite a bit here as they've had the lead. They've had a couple six streaks from uh, Silly and Clayster. But I do want to see if Splice is going to be able to start picking up some time here. They're inside a crane. Silly is going to invest a streak, though. Three are going to drop. They're still They're spawning spawns. low water. Yep. So they are going to be able to flood this very, very quickly right back in advance. You drop, and you're able to reinforce it so quickly there. Yeah, but RCC is able to find two. Now they have that crane spawn. Well, Jerd's there as well, but they're still spawning low water. This is exactly what you want if you're spliced. So there's one fighter pilot that doesn't get, get much effectiveness, but Silly, he finds another three out of five spree. 
A great game for him right now. Yeah, if Silly's gonna play like this, this is gonna be a very difficult series for Splice, but when I say that, look, Silly's going off right now. 20-11, but you still don't have a very big right. lead here for E United. Despite the fact you've had some big streaks, you've earned some score streaks, you haven't turned it into a big lead. So I think this bodes well overall for Splice, considering what you've had to withstand. Yeah, it definitely does. And you obviously talked about both teams' comebacks yesterday, but Splice, they can turn around very quickly. So we're going to go into half with a one-point game as we go into our new set of hills. Well, Tommy, he's on this one. He didn't have a great start, but he's starting to turn around on a three spree. Tommy is trying to dive around that statue see what he can find Bant's gonna be the next man up here his teammates clearing top middle he has to find the one one-on-one -on -one gunfight there for mid cut and he's able to do it mortar in Bant's just able to get away with that but it will clear them out of the hard point at least for a moment yeah and he's just finding his team time a lot of time to get set back up there's that trade he's able to find two this is great time for splice there is a pinch coming in from silly so that cleans that up again another huge play from him Bants, nice shots at range there to pick up a couple of kills. Now let's take a look at the setup for Splice as we're getting close to our next hard point. You've got Jerd. Well, Jerd's dead. Jerd's respawning. <laughs> Tommy transitioning over to Useless here as he'll deal with the push there from Lower Water. You've got, look at that number four, Jerd all the way up into Barrel Building. You've got one in Lights. And they're set up here to do some damage because with his position here from Jerd. Okay, well, see, he should Jerd needs to be careful there, but he does get that top yeah, spawn yeah. still. Silly with a nice glide bomb, but Tommy's in the back and he's heating up. He finds two more. <laughs> And you can see the last player for United is Silly. He's still in that hill. What is Silly doing? Yeah, he's gonna call in some more streaks. And well, this is fine if you're Splice. You still have that top spawn. But that one player, Arsenis, he's pushed up very far. They have to find him, and it looks like they weren't able to spot him. Now we'll start to push for Splice. And you can see where that spawn comes in, that's Lower Crane. Clayster. What? Clayster guns three there, makes the plays to secure some time, and now he can push up here and deal with the reinforcements coming in from Splice. 25 seconds remaining on this one. Jerd finds the opening. Three players starting to rotate now, so they're going to lose. They got to send somebody back. That's 20 seconds or so they rotated earlier. They're going to give up. I mean, yeah, but you better lock down Doxwell. Yeah, Clay's going for it. He's going to try and win this one-on-one. -on -one. Jerd's shoulder peeking it. But he has help, right? So Clay's going to call that out. That allows him to What do you to think that about setup. that, though? Like, was that a little early, or are you like it as long we'll as you see. can hold it? We'll see. If, yeah. they can, if, if they can hold this lower dox, it'll pay off. But Tommy, he's on that driveway. You have one player from United who just spawned up. That's Clay. He's top street. Tommy loses that gunfight to Arsenis, and Pristini loses that one to Vance. There's the hold for United on that first push. Uh, the grenade from Jerd, though, at least gets yeah. him out of the hard point for a moment. So Jerd's able to just, he pushes, gets a kill, pushes right in. He's going to go ahead and contest. So the early rotation, at least out of now, uh, at least as of now, doesn't seem to be paying off as the contest in very quickly from Splice here. Yeah, we saw a situation like this yesterday with EG and E United. And it looks like E United, they're going to be the first guys in. Mad Cat jumps up, finds one on Pristini. We'll see both teams just kind of in a stalemate right now, just happy with contesting. Who will be the first team? Or Someone can pick up a couple of kills. And there it was. Clayster gets two. That allows the troops to get forward. One more player to clear out. Mad Cat still holding, though. Mad Cat gets two kills. And this is big contest Whoa. time. There's the third for Mad Cat. Six stuff from him. And that's going to earn at least a scrap time here for Splice. And they're rotating top. Yeah, I was just going to say, let's go over to Jurd. Jurd is going to have a, a lot to deal with. But it looks like Clay. Clay's going to call in a glide bomb. They're going to try and get these spawns. But that's a huge kill by Jurd. He's able to find one. But still, the trades come in. Wow, they spawn low water. Does Splice. Let's see who's going to come on top of this one. Couple kills going the way of United. Still contesting in the hard point. Last man's going to be Jerd. Jerd did find two. He's got to do everything right now. His teammate's spawning out. Another one on one's going to go to Jerd. This is huge contest time. Finally, he will end up dropping. And when the final couple of ticks come in here, 172, 171, all but a tie game yet again. This is uh, this has been everything we hoped for, Joe. Yeah, it definitely has. Clay, he's able to find two, but as you said, the contest is still in from Splice, but that's four down with 23 seconds left on that hill. That's huge time for United. You have RC's already set up at Crane, able to find one on those middle stairs. Pristini, he's pushing over to fire. They force the spawns of Splice to be at the old one. That's a great rotation from them. All right, let's see what E United can do with early control here at Crane. It's going to be Clayster kind of patrolling the water side, checking mid map as well for the rotation of the next hard point. Fire gunfight goes Silly's way. It does on the backside as well. So, so far, so good. You are going to have to deal with the nades flying in here soon, though, to the hard point as you are spawning water right now if you're Splice. Yeah, back in fourth game. There's those nades. You can see Pristini, he gets out of it. Silly and Clay still having a great game. Clay plus 15, Silly plus 11. Really out slaying them besides Pristini. Everybody positive. 
Mad Cat, he's able to get around, get someone off that hill. Arsenis, though, he's going to reflank this low water side. Let's see if this will pay off here. He's able to get a couple shots into Jurd. Can't finish off Tommy there. Christini so close to streaks, he does grab him. The final hip fire is going to connect, and he's going to be able to pick up the fighter pilot and the glide bomb. He's calling it right in. Wants to get him out of the hard point. Doesn't want to allow any kind of extra scrap time to That's go their way. And with how close this is, yeah, 10, 12 seconds is huge. It definitely is. That's like a 30-point swing right there. Jared, though, he's able to find Pristini. We're going to head back to Statue. We're going to go to our third rotation of hills. Well, let's see. Back and forth. Placer wins that gunfight and fire, so nobody in it quite yet. Jared, though, gets cleaned up by Pristini. And it's just trades right now. Placer trying to finish one there in docks. Top mid is Silly, and Silly's making plays and getting time. It's huge. Every gunfight you're winning inside of the hard point, crucial to tack on some extra time. Pristini still has that fighter pilot to go with. Clay has to deal with two low water, also two in the hard point right now. His teammates at least able to clear that out with the grenade. And this has been, I mean, good from Splice in the sense you haven't allowed United to really get too much time here at Statue, but this break into Main Street is going to be everything. You're trailing by 30 right now. They've got to make the play here, Joe. Yeah, they definitely do. Jerk. Well, he's going to get taken down by Pristini. United already thinking about that rotation. This is big time, though. That's great push right there from Marcides. He's going to get Mad Cat off that hill. Mad Cat's there, though. So is Jurd. So they know where two players are. That Here comes that push. Jurd able to oh find another. Clay may spawn out. We'll have to wait and see. Arsenis, though, the twins, they respond. Jurd gets taken out. Tommy, the last guy left for Splice. Jurd, you thought, had the opening, but Pristini finds a couple of huge kills there. Oh, look at these spawns right now. All Everybody kind of all over the place. You have one that's Pristini. Oh, he gets a fighter pilot. He's calling that in. Able to at least clear out Jurd. United only need 15 more points. You've got to collapse here if you're Splice. You can't give up any more time. Do they know Tommy's here, though? It doesn't seem like it. Nice shots right there. On the silly. Couple of gunfights. Traded back and forth. Splice, they're going to have some quick reinforcement, but the nades are in for me, United. And the, the scary part here, you have to contest this final time. You that's have to. It. And the last person here is going to be Tommy. Tommy contesting. Splice not going to be able to get there in time. E United on the board first. And Clay, he is hyped up. That is exactly what you wanted out of that first match. The Woo. energy from E United. The streaks early in that game. Just the slang overall. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I the mean, outside you had Christine. Clay from the start was just going off, and then it was Silly's turn. He has a huge game. Both of them ended up around 44, 45 kills. Arsides, he was a part of that, but the guys on Splice, they have to pick it up. You know, this is a huge series. They can't allow that pressure to get to them. Mad Cat and Bands had a, a solid game. Not the best, but you're really looking at uh, Tommy and Jordan to swing things around in game two. Yeah, now the search and destroy. It's like, and if you're on the United side, you know, you're all hyped. You got all that energy, but now it's not. You slow it down a little bit. You're heading to search and destroy. Obviously, not going to be flying around the map like you were no. in the hard point. Uh, must win territory, like you said. Uh, Splice is. They have to take this map. You can't go down 2-0 to United right now. Um, I mean, who for you as of late has maybe been the superior search team? I feel like we haven't we haven't had like a super consistent search team no, recently in this no, actual not division. division B. No, it, uh, I mean, geez, both of these teams are really just comes down to a, a bunch of key situation. At United, they've been pretty 50-50. It's like, all right, we're, we're playing really well. And then well, it's, it's more like as our city is getting us to lay rounds. Where we <laughs> yes, that's also true. Like, yeah, there was like. When they're winning, he has like a 2.25 yeah. KD, and I when they lose, he's got like a 0. 0.7. I think the next closest was like Clay with a 135. Like a 135 is yeah. good. 2.25 is, is just stupid. Ridiculous numbers right now. He's been so good in search and destroy. I, I think he has to be, though. Like, and that, you know, you don't want to put it all on one player, but they're not winning unless he does it. So he has got to just be incredible. And, you know, we've seen him. If it's a 1v1 situation, heck, even like these 1v3s he's pulling out have been absolutely unreal. But you like to see that from Silly, man. Smiles on his face. He knows he has had a great game one. But he needs to do it again. He does, yep. And yep. again. Yep. He needs a, a three-game series because at times you can have a great game one. But if you allow Splice right back into it, it's a tough one, man. And we're going to go to a Flat Tower CTF. That's going to be a fun one. This whole series is going to be fun, Joe. I'm so Unless excited. it's a three. Oh, please don't let it yeah, happen. Yeah, I know, right? Please. Yeah, you and I have had some. We had some interesting luck. I, like, thinking back to Atlanta, like, I was like, oh, I'm We're so like, excited to start casting with Joe, get some reps in. It's like 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. But no, this, this just, it can't be. It can't be. There's too much on the line. But take a look here at the remaining maps in the best of five. St. Marie up next. Flak Tower, if we need it. Gibraltar and Arden Forest. And Gibraltar, I mean, uh, if we get there at the... 
but one of the criticisms of the United team at hard point at times has been kind of pacing. The fact they have three players that typically are ARs. Gibraltar's a map where you think that could pay off, but I don't know. You, just, you cannot you cannot count Splice out of this because we've seen basically two versions of this Splice team and sometimes two versions of them within the same series. When they start clicking, man, they are very deadly. But And I, I think one oh. good thing what you saw at the second half of that game was Tommy starting to win some more gunfights because he had a very slow start. Like, Clayster was top. Like, he was, Clay started like 15 and 3. Yeah, he was beating the heck out of him. Yeah. So the fact that you saw that a little bit kept them in the game. So we'll see if he's able to keep this up in game two. We'll kick it off with Tommy. He will have a gunfight very early with Clayster there. Not before Clayster. Well, sorry. Uh, the gunfight was with play for Tommy, but as Clayster was focused on Jurd, and that will be a first blood for him. For Steeny, all right, doing a good job shoulder peeking. Sometimes we see him sprint into situations that scare me, but <laughs> there, just making sure to stay up and get some information on the B site. And now, rotating over to A. Yeah, Tommy, he's very important right now. He's in a spot, Clay. Oh, he's going to get a team shot. He needs to back down. Needs are going to come in. Trying to do his best to stay alive. He does have help from Mad Cat watching his cross. Plants going in for United. There's the plan in. What can Tommy do? He sees Clayster in the back. Gets a couple bullets in, but ultimately gets wall bang. Clayster will be traded out. I say Silly was weak on the bomb still. He got taken down by Bance. Two versus two now. 30 seconds on the clock. Bance and Mad Cat got to make the play. They've got to work the defuse and not a ton of time to work here. Pristini just barely, barely stays up. That's information, go. though, for go. Splice. They know where that last guy is. One's got to hop it, and one's got to make the kill. They're gonna, they're Are they both just going to hunt him? You know, I don't know if they have time to both hunt him. They don't. They're going to check middle, and they're going to get on it. Here we go. Bance versus Pristini. Oh, my. Bance, Bance with the it. big one-on-one. -on -one. Pristini can't win the gunfight and check bomb, and the defuse comes in with 2.2 remaining on the clock. Clutch round there because you lose dirt early in that. These 3v4 victories, 2v4, when you pull those out, man, those are the ones you're going to remember. And it's one thing we need to keep an eye on here, too, because when watching this map for Splice, Jurd has such a big impact on the map. Whether he's hitting mid or, like, mid to A, he will find first bloods, and he will completely shut down pushes. Yeah. The thing that's interesting, though, E United's offense is so slow and pick-based sometimes. Like well, that, what I was going to say, Jurd. I was walking down to the lobby, and I saw Clay on his laptop still watching VODs, you know, and I, I imagine they knew that's what, you know, Jurd loves to do on the first round he's of very defense, aggressive. right? So he caught him climbing up to top restaurant. Nades come in on RCs, not able to take him down. Seems like both of these teams are reading them pretty well. First need though, that's a big first blood. He has help from his brother up top. Jared trying to stay up, but a nice wall bang there from RCs. 4v2 advantage for E United. Now, yeah. You had the 4v3 advantage, and that slipped away. You've got to close out this round. Let's take a look at, is Bans going to be able to maybe make a play? Thing is, though, he's very loud, right? So as soon as he climbs this, he's got both of his grenades. I don't know how crucial that'll be in a 2v4, but he does have both. He's just waiting on this bomb to wrap. And they, they might go for the plant, and then the collapse will happen. It looks like Mad Cat, yeah, he's going to put that down. E United just... Taking their time. They're waiting for the plant to come in. These grenades could be big if he catches somebody trying to put... Well, I was going to say, if he if he gets lucky with a stun here, so he's going to tag one up in the back. Mad Cat watching the flank. These are the gun fights. Oh, nice shot. Pristini. 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 Rips him. That is huge. Vance by himself. He has to pick a side and push it out. Wow. Flawless retake there from E United. What a shoulder peek from Pristini right there. No. That is not an easy gunfight to I, win. I mean, honestly, I, I think your only chance... Really was if like two people hit right away, Bance guessed right with the, the stun and like hits him and gets two kills. I mean, outside of that, like you can hold B in a 3v4. 2v4 is <laughs> it's a bit difficult. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. It's that guy from top mid hat didn't even go in yet, right? Like if they would have timed that perfectly. It would have been so tough to deal with. United, nice first blood. That's their second one of the game, but they're able to get that round on the board. So one to one. Can we watch uh, Jurd off the opening of this? I just want to see how he plays it this time. So this time... It's going to go bottom middle to top red. Now, do they tag them up with grenades in the back? Yep, one's, one's coming in. That might have hit two players. Is yeah, there anything to follow did. it up? Looks like the others have already gone off. Yeah, Bance is, back yet. Bance is trying to peek in here. That's a nice pick off a tower. Huge kill. And now it's Jurd's turn. Just trying to get the wall bang in. He's got to be careful. They have the four on three. Remember, this is a site you can hold with three players. I would say I would have loved for a flank to come in. Nice shots right there from Banty. Wall bangs Arsides. Mad wow. hits from the top. What a retake from Splice. Clay left in a 1v4. Possible, but so difficult. Able to find one trade comes in. 
Oh, beautiful what a stuff. Round. Beautiful yep. stuff. And that's, uh, I mean, it was Mad Cat's first kill, picking Silly off of the tower that's big, uh, the Bant's wall bang off the tower. Like, we talk about, like, getting them off of the bomb if they're covered kind of by the heady or if they're on the tower. Like, such difficult gunfights, but they're spliced. They make it look easy. A couple of huge kills there. And I love that play from Bant and Mad Cat. Bant is sort of peeking that truck to get Silly to peek your wide angle. As soon as he peeks it wide, right, he gets a little greedy, gets a couple bullets in him. Mad Cat's like, yep, I'm going to rip his head off, and is able to do that, hit some nice shots. That allows that 4v3 to happen. Great start for Mad Cat as he's four and one. Offense now for the splice side. Christini basically doing what we saw Jerd do on the other uh -oh. end of things. Yeah, get down. You get down, not able to do it. Nice finish there from Tommy. Wow, and look where Jerd is already. He's already top restaurant. I don't know if they know that's where he is. That's a very powerful position to choose both A and B site. He's got to be careful, though. He only has a PPSH. Clay, though, is he going to peek this? He is. Well, that gives out that info. And it looks like, though, Splice can go to B. But Bomb is across the map. Mad Cat was just waiting on maybe a, a flank, yeah. An aggressive push through the A site. Doesn't develop, so now they're going to bring it around. Bomb's starting to work its way up. 4v3 advantage now for Splice. You got Jerd top red. You got Tommy top red. Vance has got to stay alive here. Jerd with the wall bang there. Nice stuff from him. Through the wood to clean up the kill. It does get traded out, but Vance able to follow up as well. Arsony's last man, and that was just like dominoes. Trade by trade by trade. Splice able to clean it up because they had the extra man. Yep, and it just starts with that first blood. As soon as Pristini goes down, that allows Jerd to push up, get in a restaurant, basically in a 4v3. If you don't have anyone in that B site to sort of make, you know, a miraculous play or fine too, it's so tough to deal with. Splice, they trade well. Great job rebounding here. In the game two, after that game, one loss. Let's see a splice. Can pick up a fourth round. We're going to watch Jared off the break. This time he's going to be sniping, so definitely a change of pace. Yeah, because Clayster picked him last time. You got to hit it. You have to hit <laughs> and, that shot. And by missing the shot, Tommy dies as well. I, I love this from Jared. Like, I love Great the call. Like, you know, he picked you in round one, tried to get it, but, I mean, you said it perfectly. If that's the play call, you got to hit the damn shot. Retake still possible. We saw Splice do it the first round. Nice nade from Jerd. Nice shot right there. Makes it a 3v3. And this is actually not the worst place to have a sniper because, you know, we were playing barrels on either side. Like, if you can hit shots like that, a lot easier to clear it, obviously, than with an STG. He just has to help his team, right? Like, they're just sitting here. He has to pull out that pistol. There we go. Finally able to do so. Where's the trade? Not there yet. Mad Cat was weak, but Pristini wins it. Bant's now. One versus two. Clayster's got him. Round to E United, and that's a big one. Would have been down 4-1 instead, right back in this. And a big part of it, again, Clay with another first blood there on the player trying to get up sandbags. Oh. And I, I, I like the adaptation from Splice. Oh, I love it. It's yeah. just, just missed. <laughs> yeah, you can't miss. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, well, I mean, that works for, like, any play call. You can call stuff out, but, you know, if people lose gunfights, it, <laughs> it, and what it sucks the strategy the call is as well as, all right, you know, let's make that adjustment. I'll jump up. You know, if you're Tommy, I'll jump up. He's sort of being bait. You just... That's exactly Trust right. his teammate. Oh, yeah. He's like, all right, I trust you to hit that shot. Then you die, and you don't see him get that kill. It's kind of like, oh, that's He was awesome. a worm on the end of a fishing lure. All right. I'm not a fisherman. I don't know if I said that right, Joe. It sounds right. Let's do it, though. You do play <laughs> in cast Call of Duty. So, bomb going down B. 4v3, another first blood for United. They have four already. Christini's working top restaurant. You have two in restaurant, two on the def defensive side of B. Nade's coming in. Oh, also a smoke. That allows Pristini to get in. He gets into the site. Vance is behind it. Nice job taking off his head. He wants to push it out. Knows one weak. And it's going to be... Oh, he runs out of ammo. I think now going to chase it down in a 1v1. Silly trying to find it. Silly gets the kill. And there's the defuse. And that, a big part of that, uh, the smoke... The fact that Pristini was able to get out top red, and I mean, not only to get two kills, but he put a lot of damage into the last player as well. No, he definitely did, and Tommy sort of got what he wanted. It, it seems like he got caught off guard a little bit. Maybe he had a nade in his hand. You know, when Mad Cat was right next to him, because he, he got a little weak from that player that challenged him. He won the first gunfight, tries to get away with his life. New Silly was just a little bit quicker than him, and while well, he had to challenge it, that's a big win from Silly. Continuing that from game one. Certainly is, now tied up at three to three. And I'm just waiting for Jurd to maybe make a bit more of an impact on this game. He started out a little bit slow. He's been caught, you know, been first blooded, I think, three times. He got four first bloods. 
for the United side. I just get out. I, shot, I thought he had like an airborne AR, maybe or something. He got in quickly and got the angle, but no, Armored Class is able to maybe get in through a stun and pick up the kill. It seems like Splice is very worried about their late flanks. You see that? We saw that with Mad Cat with that bomb in the one offensive round. You still have Tommy towards that A site. They're just waiting for the bomb plant to come in. They will retake B with a 4v3 if you know decides to go for that bomb plant. Tommy holding the A site. Bants watching mid. Mad Cat just trying to stay alive in the back. Now, again, it's a 3v4, but on the B site, especially if you don't have grenades to really re retake. Can we check the grenades on Splice real quick? You got one on Tommy, yeah, two. one on Jerd. Okay, so here they come. Can they connect with Silly in the back tower? They're nading back tower right now. They miss Silly dead. Sure. They miss it. So they don't get the pick. That but, opening kill, yeah, though, they made him weak, though. They made him weak. RC's and Silly able to find one. Silly, the last guy left. One versus one. Tommy versus Silly. Oh, my. Tommy wins it. What a nice shot. And you imagine that Silly was still a little weak from those grenades. That is a huge that was retake. Scary. Huge retake from Splice. And I think I heard Tommy yell, dating back tower. They, they went for it. And I think you got it right, though. I mean, even though they didn't kill him, probably still weakened up maybe at that point. Obviously, it takes him out of the action for a moment because even if he's hit, he's probably back down. He's probably going prone there behind the tower. Can't help in the gunfights as much. And I think yeah. the big one, too, was Clay was, like, tucked in that corner right under the jump up, and they were able to spot him. So that, I mean, as soon as you take Clay out of it, like, he's not even in a gunfight, maybe doesn't weaken a player. That 4v2, much easier, but it's still pretty difficult for Splice. That was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, Perstini is uh, one of the few players we've seen be able to sprint up to sandbags and actually get to this position. Yeah, right. And now you're seeing a pretty passive approach right now for Splice. Maybe just kind of baiting out the nades, looking for a pick. But look how far up Clayster has now pushed. Hey, this might be wide. Wow! Nice shots there on to Mad Cat, who was ready and waiting. Mate, that's just research, I think, from both teams, right? Like, maybe he knows Mad Cat loves to do that. Maybe Mad Cat knows that, well, Clay loves to go on a late flank. It looks like still, still a lot of nades from Splice. Gonna try and hit RCs. They hit him with a couple RCs, though. Just gonna back down, throw one of his own. I like that play. Vance is a little weak. Now he has help from his brother. Pressure to Prestini. You see everybody now wrapping around no. the back as well. You can't get wall bang there. You've got to stay up. Great shots from Tommy, though, to get it. Tommy guns another one in the back. Suddenly, it's all on Silly. Silly can't win the first. Tommy with three there. Ice in his veins as he makes the play in a very, very big round for Splice. Huge round. What a play out of Tommy. Nice shots. As I said, at the end of game one, he was heating up. And you can tell right here, he doesn't miss any shots. He's had some key gunfights throughout game number two. But if you're Pristini there, just back up. You have a three versus two. They're, just let him plant the bomb. <sighs> Such a, It's just a little, little things like that. This this map for Splice, I mean, this, this could determine whether or not you've got a chance to get into the playoffs. You cannot go down. 2-0 in this series. Some streaks uh, getting close for Tommy. Could they close it out here and tie up this series 1-1? It's a quick offensive push to A here for E United. Tommy comes wrapping across. Going to get tagged. He needs to stay up. Prestige is going to fly at him. He's just going to fly at him. What, what do you expect? I mean, if I knew that was Prestige I shot at, I would just expect him to come steamrolling at me. I try to get away. You're so close to streaks, right? This is going to be a very fast round. As fancy ball. He's going to get caught out. There's one player left. That's Jurd. And he's down. Round to United. So what, 5-4 now for Splice. Again, winner of this series. Going to playoffs to play for $500,000. Loser. Headed home. Packing their bags. Devastated. Such a big series here. I'm trying to remember like one that, that reminds me of uh, from back, what, like last year. Maybe like that Phase Rise series. Was that stage one or stage two? That crazy one. There was like yes. a 250, 249 game. Stay Clay, Clay goes like 10 and 0 in the map five. Clay, Clay loves to be a part of these crazy series. <laughs> no, I don't think he does. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody oh. does. It's just always Clay. <laughs> All right, let's see if Splice can close it out now on offense. Bance, exponentially class out, so he'll have the stunning grenade to work with. Silly has pushed up very, very close here. You got to think he's going to be able to get an opening pick or do some damage or at least make some nice call. Well, Pristini should be able to call everything to him if that ends up being the push. Well, because you like this adjustment because what Splice has been doing is going B, but it's pretty slow. And then what they're doing is they're, you know, sort of combining their nades to hit back tower. But Splice, 40 seconds into this round, they haven't done much yet. They're still very spread out. Also have play behind that green tower on A side. Oh, it's, yeah. it's Mad Cat waiting for it again. There yeah, there's the nades. The, they're the nades that come in. They know it's a very slow push. 
well spice they have to back down they have to rotate there's not a lot of time left not a lot of time at all and clay is in a great spot yep it's coming to clayster now you see on x-ray three players coming in first one goes his way knows there's two gotta try and play his life or find a second kill and clay does just that clay almost with the third but jerd able to equalize it is going to be a 3v2 advantage for e united though and spice has got to get this bomb planted yeah rc's up top yeah to he's got a bomb he's got a grenade too oh someone's gonna challenge him it's tommy uh, yeah, he just allowed him to get the bomb. I love that play, but the flank comes in from Pristini. Pristini, what a game from him. 10 and 6, make it 11 and 6. Round 11, Clint. Uh, <laughs> this is, I'm gonna, I, I can't lose any more hair. So I guess my beard's just gonna start going gray. I, this, ah, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, this is what makes the Call of Duty World League great, though. Moments like this, man. Round 11 and an incredible, incredibly crucial and stressful series for these players. That pressure's on splice, right? Like you're up five three, you have a couple of rounds to work with, but great rounds for me United to take you to a round 11. Another big performance here from Clayster. He had a good map one, he's 10 and seven here. Splice looks like they're going fast this time, right? They've been going pretty slow, but here we go. Round 11, first blood over to Pristini. That's his fourth one of this game. No trades are in from Splice and bombs down. Pristini, not that the best so map one. Important. Not the best map one from him, Joe, but 12 and six here on search. And like you said, the four first bloods. Him and Clayster both have four, by the way. They have eight first bloods. It's another one. 4v2, they just have to play their life. Again, Splice don't have bomb. This looks Just like group up together. Honestly, play it like you're defending the B site. This looks like a 3-5 comeback. Silly. Patience. <laughs> You just have 40 seconds. You see Mad Cat starting to work this flank, and it's going to be Clayster that's trying to be ready for it. Tommy's just trying to play his life until Mad Cat can make a play. Does Mad Cat check? This is the question. It looks like he's going to. Can he win the gunfight? He wins it. Mad Cat now gives him a chance as he beams him around the edge. Under 30 that's seconds. It. Where's the response? They've got to get the plant. There There's the trade. There's the game. 2-0 Edge E United. They are now a map away. They are now on the precipice of getting into playoffs and you see the pain right now the realization from splice that they are in trouble they are in a world of trouble in this best of five joe i'm gonna be honest with you i absolutely hated that play call round 11. i absolutely despise it to just run in the a like yes you've been playing at a slower pace yeah running to b just try. I don't know, man. I, I just I, I, so I, I, I guess I get it, it because they have been playing so passive outside of maybe Jerd flying around the map a bit. But you know, for us that saw Pristini and Silly ready and waiting, it did not pay off. But guys, it's still live here. Best of five. E United up 2-0. North America versus Europe. Teams fighting to play for five hundred thousand dollars. Can E United close it out in the CTF? Can Splice battle back? Tweet the stream. Don't go anywhere.
coming into this week, Unilad and Evil Geniuses were the favorites to fight for the final spot in the top four. But through some miraculous games, some crazy comebacks, some wild clutches, Splice and E-United find themselves in position to do it. One of these teams is going to come up just a little too short, and one's about to lose their minds they get the playoffs. But this is this is awesome. Buddy. No, it definitely is. And, and, and the way you just sort of brought us back, it could have been, you know, EG and Unilad was for a playoff spot. This could have been for a relegation spot, but that has flip-flopped these teams, as you said. Had a pretty crazy week. You know, had some great wins, some great upsets. One of them would be taking that last playoff spot. Uh, and then after this, <laughs> someone's getting relegated. Yeah, somebody's getting relegated. And someone's securing themselves a spot in stage two into, into the CWL championship. But before we get there, we've got at least one map. Maybe two. Maybe three. I know what I'm rooting for. Three. I don't care who wins this damn series. I just want it to be a chaotic and wild finish. I think uh, I think we all deserve that. With how crazy Division B has been, you gotta think this is one that goes down to the wire. But so far, United getting it done. A great game one performance. They come back in the game two. The clutch factor still alive and well for Clayster. And now it comes down to Flak Tower CTF. Here we go. Yep, I'm bored with Christini. He's rocking the STG to start. Nice shots right there. Clay wins another one. Play wins both, well, and just like that, four go down for Splice. Not well, the start you wanted. No, 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 it is not, Joe. No, it is not. They're all now coming off a of spawn. Oh, the well. pressure here early. <laughs> Clayster delays the push with an aid to his own forehead, but he will stay up. Pristini trying to get the pull. Clayster still cruising. He's found three in a row. Finally traded out by Jurd. Pristini's going to grab it. He's got Silly to help him. There's going to be a one-on-one -on -one gunfight here. Nope, it's actually he's going to dip out. So Bance is going to have to rally towards mid. He's trying to get the cutoff. He's gone. He's trying to chase it. Pristini's he's gone. Not going to get there in time. Not what gonna get there in time. Start. You start out with eight kills to the four on the side of Splice. The four down right away and a score to cap it off. You could not ask for more. Yeah, no, United. I, and I, I love that play. What Pristini does is he, he gets that flag. Well, Pristini earns streaks as well, but he gets that flag and he runs it back towards Silly. Silly goes to the back. He cuts off that angle, allows him to get to a great spot and get that flag away. United up 1-0 in the game, up 2-0 in the series. They can feel it. They can taste it. They're nearly playoff bound. The guys are getting hyped. I'm going to go to an Astro listening with the United. Pulling. Oh, oh, United, another one top lobby, top lobby. Back our door, back our door, back our door. Oh, 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 They're going to go bottom lobby. They're going to go bottom lobby. Oh, Flight's going bottom circle. Coming, bottom circle, bottom circle weak. I saw him, he's up. Middle, they're middle, they're middle. They can streak again. Nice! Let's go. Nice! He's on me. Uh, top me back. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. Tommy and Mike downstairs. Bottom middle. 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 Bottom Nice shot, He's on the base, on the base, on the base. Let's go bottom of the lobby, bottom of the lobby. Scream in the bottom lobby. Go together, do something together. One shot Tommy in their lobby, one shot Tommy in their lobby. I have a fight right? Yeah. Justin, maybe watch your back for a sec. You went to our outskirts, I think? Went to our outskirts, I'm coming back to look. I'm nading over, I nade it. Press him, careful, careful, I nade it. On a circle top, circle top, circle top. He's inside pipes, inside pipes. Big gun in Woodstack. He's in back base, back base. Big gun in Woodstack. Yeah. Big gun in Woodstack. No, back there base, back there base. There's two circle side. I top circle, top circle, one small gun, one top circle, one shot, one our small gun. One top circle, one shot, one our small gun. You can pull, Alec. Go, pull He's back. Right, back right, one shot. Tommy Jared. Back right at base. Back right at base. Two. Back right at base two. I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. Go, Tommy and Jared, last two. I'm here with you, middle. I'm here with you, middle. Back base, dead. One shot, dead. Got him, oh, let's let's go. Three dead. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Back the door, back the door. Back the door. No. I'm already. Oh my god, Matt Cat! Pushing pipes, I'm pushing pipes with you. I'm hitting, I'm hitting back to the lobby. Back two back to base, two, three back to base, I think. Three, to another one there, another one there, go for it. The pressure continuing here from E-United. They're up 2-0, they've got another touch. A couple big gunfights coming in, but Mad Cat able to win both after it sounds like Clayster deleted him moments ago. <laughs> he also just like deleted his mic as well. <laughs> I'm not sure if the mic's okay, but yeah, Clayster getting pumped up. I loved that second flag, Arsides. He was a big one-on-one -on -one in the splice base. They follow it up with the fighter pilot to help him yeah. out, gets that fly home. 
But yeah, man, the pressure for me United just hasn't stopped. They've just consistently put pressure on the Splice base. Yeah, there's been a couple, you know, kind of forward plays from Splice, but both shut down pretty quickly. And then it seems seconds later, already the aggression coming in from me United. Can Splice make something happen? Tommy's going to be overextending top left. So he's pulled out this PPSH, seeing if he can make a play. One spawns deep. Will he be able to find Silly? He's wrapped around the entire backside. He spots nothing. He's just wondering where everybody is. Now he sees Arcides. Is that going to prompt Silly to wrap back? It does. He's got an aid ready and waiting for him. He's got one gunfight on either side but of this. But they just look so confused. And eventually cut down. Yeah, they couldn't get anything going there. They just looked so confused. They weren't sure where those United players were. And that's an opportunity that you have to try and take yeah. advantage of, especially if you're Tommy getting behind enemy lines. But again, clutch gunfights, and here comes the United once again. Last guy left is Jerd. He gets taken down. Flag away. Can we talk about how great of a series Pristini is having since that game one? I was just saying. He goes like 13 and 6. He's now 13 and 7. He's been so aggressive, winning gunfights. Like, he's been, he's been crucial to their success. Definitely has. And, man, you just feel it slipping away if you're Splice. Like, I'll, I'll be honest. I saw, I, I saw Bantz in the break between 2 and 3. He looked deflated. He looked like somebody they threw to me, too. He looked to me like somebody that thought they'd lost already. This would help though if they're able to get one at this before this half. Another big gunfight from Silly. Just get away, Vance. Not able to do so. Mad Cat, the last guy left, and he loses that gunfight. What a great defensive hold from E United. Every single time E United need to make plays at home or on offense, it seems they're getting it done. And that's a big reason they are up 3-0. They just can't take their foot off the gas, and they've got a 3-0 series Yeah, victory don't here. stop. Like, they have played so good, especially on the attack. Like you said, Pristini, he's winning so many key one-on-ones like, like he did just there. I mean, the only – I want to check at the beginning if we can. I mean, I don't think there's a ton of streaks on the side of United. A couple, but I just want to make sure I didn't lose track of a bunch. Uh, if we can see it off the break, what do we have? Uh – None. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I was just saying, I didn't think I saw many at all. So that makes sense. So they use the streaks early in this one. That's one good thing for Splice, at least, right? Like, you can get back in it. You can't make a lot of mistakes if you're E United. That's going to be three down off the break for E United. So finally, maybe a little bit of breathing room to push forward here from Splice. Let's take a look at the defensive hold. Tommy's first one in. Nobody's there with him. He gets cut down before the push even develops. I, I was going to say, Bans comes off spawn and Tommy just goes. And well, there we go. It's a staggered push once again. Clayster's able to find two. Vance does sneak, through, though. though. Yep. Clayster turns around. That's a big one-on-one, -on -one, and Clayster wins it. Uh, has he lost, like, a one-on-one? -on -one? Like, I, I'm sure he has, but every time it seems he needs to win a big one, he does it. Now he's on a four streak, so now maybe this is where streaks come into play. They need to play defense, though, right now. Mad Cat and Jared both find kills. Clayster's little streak will stop. What needs to change for Slice right now? Well, like, Jared, get Jared wins this? that one. Jared wins one in the base. Tommy's here to help. He has to try and get out. Well, they know where the last two players are. This could be a flag cap for Splice. Finally, an attack that's worked out. But on the other side of the map, Pristini wins it. What can he do? Almost just destroys him. Wow, but there we go. That's one for Splice. So one of those ones, if you had Airborne Prime, do you finish that kill? <laughs> maybe, I don't maybe, know, dude. Maybe. I mean, it might not have that's mattered. a tough shot. Might not have mattered, but uh, I always wonder that. <laughs> Score for Splice is the comeback now coming. Jurd getting close to streaks here. Bans gets the call from Jurd and pushes forward. There's one more on top window. Up, one man. mid map. Tried to snap there, but not able to do it. Jurd just desperately wants these streaks. And it's another one on one that goes the way of E United. But and Tommy a one on one sneaking. you needed. Tommy if you're gets Splice. through. Tommy gets through. Oh, silly wraps back. What a great play. This is a one on one, though. Another one could be key. Well, here we go. Silly versus Tommy. Tommy's able to come in on top. That's three down. There's one player left. It's Arsides. And that's, and a, that's score. a flag. That here is a score. Go, Clint. Here we go. Splice getting right back into things. Down one. Three to play. They have got to win this map. Or they're headed home with no playoff run. And I'll tell you what, the two flags they've gotten have been sneaks. Like, Splice has just gotten by one, or one guy. They win a gunfight and they're out. And United nope. have to do a better job with that. United, no stranger to uh, allowing some comebacks in CTF. It's plagued them a couple times throughout stage one. Uh, now, United at least starting to find some of these key kills. Must be Mad Cat in the back. Mad Cat winning two. He spots the third. Mad Cat beeps three. Mad Cat doing everything right now. He'll have another gunfight with Clayster. He's able to take that as well. 
Mad Cat wipes out the entire push, and now can nice. he maybe get some streaks? Yeah, but then you slow down. All right, you're getting a good position. You clear him out. There's two go down. Push is on. Placer just spawns up. You have all three players here. What can Splice do? Able to find one. They're able to take down Clay. They get them all spawning out, but Arsenies. Trades are on. Two versus two. Nice shots from Pants. Pants has got a couple of kills. They've got a 2v1 here. Can they make the play? Oh, Tommy's gonna He's get out. It. One person's up. It's only gonna be Clayster with a chance right now. Jared's got him at mid map. Jared's got a little bit timing. Oh, he the got time. the worst oh, he timing it. ever. He won it. He got through. Shots in the back though. RC's able to pick up the kill. He's gonna need it as well. Has Mad Cat to deal with mid map and Jared. There's the flag. Here we go. Three, three. Tie game with 90 what seconds left. Happened? Spice do not want to die. They do not want to go away. And this has been an unbelievable comeback in the opening three and a half here of side two. Here we go, though. United, <laughs> it's their turn. Three players in the base. Nice stun on a splice. Jordan needs to win this one. Not able to do so. Still a couple of players left. Last one, Mad Cat. Nice stun, but that's four down. Arsides. But the spawns are in. The spawns are up. There's one guy already elbow. That's Tommy. What can he do? Spots Arsides. But there he gets taken down. That should be a fly for United. I don't think there's any streaks for Splice. This is going to be gone. This Woo. is home. 50 seconds now on the clock. E United take the lead. Yeah, got streaks right away. Christini as well. A couple players down, though. He's got to get some kills here. It's only him and Silly to now hold this off. He didn't find any. Doesn't connect. Christini and Silly have got to play some base defense. Two players now spawn oh, in. Oh, no. He might get caught here. He, got he does caught. get caught. Oh, my God. What kills can he find? There's one. There's two. There's three. The fighter pilot does enough to hold it off. You're going to have one more attack here from Splice, and that's it. One more attack from Splice. What a game for from Pristini. 27 and 16. This is a guy all stage has just been dealing with confidence He's been issues. knocked. He's been beaten. But when he needed to show up, he did it. Now 10 seconds here, or Splice's dreams are dead. I can get a pull here. There's two players from Splice that are here. They have to pull the flag. Stun on the Jerd. That's, that's it. That's it. They win. It. They can't do it. And E United are headed to playoffs. Not many believe they could do it this week, but they got it done. When they needed the clutch factor, when they needed to step up, they do it. And on the other side, they're devastated. You expect to have more of a series. They're not a 3L. Splice, they give it their all. We're all just not enough against the United right now.